Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn about some important commands of the Laravel migration. So what we are going to learn in this video, we will see what, how we can just reset the migration and how we can roll back it. What is the rollback steps? What is the refresh in migration? How we can just migrate a single one file? And at the last, I will ask you again a uh, interview question. You can attempt this question in the comment box. So now let's get started with this video. So what is the basic migration and uh, what is the basic use of it? I already told you in the previous video. Link is given in the description box if you want to watch that video. In this video, we will just learn about some uh, important commands, which is very important when you are work with the database as well as very important for your interviews also, right? Now, uh, let's look out on the database. Uh, blog is my database name and I already have a table name which is I just created the manually and this is not created with the migration right so now these, these are the commands which we are going to use these commands I will just type these commands I'm not going to copy from here but these commands also provided in the description box if you want to just use them directly now my dot uh, env file uh, my database connection is already done in the NB file. If you want to check here, you can see here, right? So if you did not uh, done your, uh, uh, you can say that uh, database configuration, then migration is not gonna work. First of all, you need to just set uh, the database name, your username and password, so that Laravel can configure with the database. Now, first of all, I just want to tell you what is the reset. So reset simply means that uh, let's say you migrate the 10 file from Laravel to database and now you just want to erase them from the database, right? Then we can use the reset migration. But for that, I need to just uh, run some command for migration. So just put here PHP artisan because I need some tables. So I'm just going to migrate first of all, then we will use the reset also, reset migration. So use PHP artisan migrate. What this command will do, it will just migrate the uh, tables which is just present inside the migrations folder so we have three tables here so when we just run it we will just get uh, five table inside the database here you can see that how we get the five table one is already present that we just made by the manually second one is migrations which is used by the laravel internal purpose and three three more tables which is mentioned in this table here uh, are the failed job password reset and user right so now how we can just reset it we can just write here php artisan migrate colon reset and now you can see that your database is going rollbacking here and uh, you will just find there we have only two table one is migration which is uh, again blank here you can see that and uh, the another one is uh, uh, members which we create the manually so uh, migration never impact the manually created table also now what do we want so just clear it out we just want to see that what is the rollback so let's say you just run your migration 10 time right so now you just want to remove your last migrated data but how you can remove so that in that case you can just use the rollback and it will just simply erase your last committed uh, last migrated data so now let's uh, again migrate some data right so that we can just check it out we created the three table here here you can see that right but we just run it once so if we just uh, gonna run the rollback then it will just erase the three table because this is the in the last time we just migrate the three table so if we run migration again then uh, we will check that uh, then we will just run the rollback then it will be just erase the last migrated table only right how we can do that first of all we need to create one more table so that i can show you that uh, how actually one more migration we can done and uh, remove the last migration also so just simply put here php artisan make migration then just uh, put your migration table name so let's say which is create test 5 uh, just you don't need you can just put any number or you can just uh, leave it blank table right 
and now we created the one more uh, migration table for the migration now let's migrate it again now we just run the migration two time right so if i am just going to put here reset then it will erase erase the old data but if i just put here php uh, artisan migrate rollback then it will just erase the test table only because this is the last one migrated data migrate colon rollback and now you can see that this is again rollbacked here so you will just find here uh, old data is present but test table is erased from here now uh, what is the use of uh, uh, rollback step so let's say you just uh, run the 10 migration and you just want to remove the last three then how you can remove then you can just uh, put the steps with the rollback and it will just uh, erase the selected uh, uh, steps right so you, let's say you just put the step 3 then it will remove the last three migrations so now let's do some migrations again like uh, first of all let's migrate it to table 2 and let's migrate it now create the 3 and uh, again run migrate because I just want to show you that uh, let's say we have uh, just uh, run the migration couple of time then we will remove the st steps like uh, we just want to remove the last three migration or last four migration kind of thing like now that's uh, great then migrated and now I am just going to make it again migration 7 right sometime I migrate the two table a single time and sometime I just did the one table so now I have the lots of table here here you can see that but now I'm just going to uh, clear everything and want to put here PHP artisan migrate colon rollback and I just want to put here minus minus tap 3 now it will just remove the last three migrations so here you can see that last three migrations has been removed from here if you want to check that now you can see that right so this is the way that how you can just remove the last some migrations so now let's new thing is what is the refresh so refresh will, what we'll do so let's say you just uh, change the structure of some tables like uh, i just want to show here so let's say in that table you just uh, add some id and some more field and in that table also again you just remove some structure configuration and you just made the lots of change then that time you can do that just refresh it it will just erase the previous data and re, uh, just uh, enter the new migration right so just try to run it php artisan migrate colon refresh hit it now first of all it will remove the old rollback data then it will migrate it again the old data right so now you can see that great so now how you can just migrate only sim single one table let's say you just want i just want to migrate this uh, uh, table test table six that how can i migrate for that you need the copy of this uh, path of this table and first of all let's remove all the migration so that we can just uh, get the change easily right so just clear it out and now just run php artisan migrate colon reset now when we run it then what you will find that the old data is actually erased here from this table rather than two tables i told you about these two tables why these are not removed from here in the starting of this video now i just want to uh, migrate only single specific table for that just write here php artisan migrate minus minus path equal to and now put the path of your table database then just simple put here migrations which is folder name and then put your uh, table path right like this and now just try to hit now you can see that only one table is migrated here right so that's all for a moment 
now it's time to the question how we can just migrate the two table also i already told you that how we can migrate the old tables with the php artisan migrate and how you can just uh, migrate the one table with the php artisan and path but how you can migrate the two tables at the same time right so you can answer this question in a comment box so thanks for watching this video and in the next video we will learn about the seeding so bye bye stay tuned and god bless you